a college co-ed who claims that her good friend raped her. Now he's on trial and she's on the stand. Good evening, I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Yenji Denise. Both were students at UH Manoa. That's where the woman said it all happened. KITV 4's Brent Sinawa was in court today and has our top story tonight. It was a night that would change two young lives forever. I don't trust anyone. He was a close friend. That woman's friend was this man, Tyler Strong, who was in court listening to his accuser's side of the story. I've had to tell this story, like, what feels like a million times. <laughs> and it's never easy. It's the same every time. The woman, who we won't identify on camera because she could be a rape victim, described what she believes happened that night. It was at Manoa on campus in Strong's dorm room. It's kind of like I went into, like, shock or something, but all I said was, like, no, like, I can't. And what was Tyler's response when you said no? <sighs> he just kept saying pet names at me and then told me to relax. She admits that both of them had been drinking. She claims that she didn't want to go to Strong's room at first, but following the text conversation with him, she was concerned that he might have been sick and she wanted to check on him. Within minutes after getting to his room, she said the two started making out. That's something she expected to happen. She was okay with it, but she wasn't okay with having sex. I was crying very, very obviously. Very, a lot, just a lot of crying. And I remember, I remember like I told him like six times to stop. And like, I don't know why six stands out, but it does. I told him six times to stop, and then he, he finally did. When he stopped, she says she picked up her belongings and ran outside of the dorm to call her friend. And then she called me when she was almost there. She's like, are you okay? And then I, like, I was like, I got raped. The next thing that woman did was go to the hospital, and following that, she talked with police. Now, also up on the stand today was a doctor who examined that woman. He said there was no physical evidence of a struggle. Strong has maintained that it was consensual sex. That woman will be back on the stand come Wednesday, where Tyler Strong's attorneys will have their chance to question her. Back to you.